in this video tutorial it is about unity this time is about creating day and night system in this tutorial I will show you how to animate Sun movement and how to turn on and off lamps so uh, here is the tutorial it is uh, an empty scene here I have an empty scene with main camera and directional light it is initially here they are initially here when you create a new scene let's add a, a plane let's say this is uh, our ground okay here we create a cube oops create a cube and let's say this is a house and next thing let's create a light let's create a point light and let's say this is a, a light in a house okay yeah and we have a light here and we have a sun sun you know directional light works as a sun you see this light here the direction of the light is casting shadow of the objects like this if you rotate the directional light if you rotate it like this it looks like you are rotating the sun so if you want to create a day and night cycle you can just simply rotate it rotate the directional light on uh, x direction like this you got it so uh, let's visualize the sun itself we can uh, we can have a sun here on the sky by creating a skybox material let's create a skybox material here we create material and we name it sky double click and here we change the shader to skybox we choose procedural and here we have sun size we can adjust the sun the size of the sun as we wish let's say this size is okay now if you rotate the directional light in x position you will see the sun is rotating let me find where is the sun there is the sun let's rotate it you see that sun is moving we can uh, we can do a sunrise like this and then sunset where is the sun oh and this is the sunset okay the thing is to create a day and night cycle we need to animate this light object so let's create an animation for this sun object let's name it to sun to add an animation to the set rotation of this sun to create an animation of a game object we need to choose the game object itself to activate it and go to window go to animation and here we can <coughs> choose animation let's create an animation for this sun click create button then here we can name the animation file let's say sun animation has its name save it and here 
we need to click this add property then we can choose it depends on how do you want to animate it if you want to rotate it in your animation choose rotation click plus button we have initial keyframes here here and then so the duration of this animation in this timeline is approximately one second let me uh, to animate the sun let's uh, click this red button here and then wherever we are in this timeline if we change the rotation of the sun the keyframe is created you see this keyframe now you play the timeline the sun is rotating you can also see the shadow of this house this the cube it is animated too because the sun is animated so let's delete this first to create a full cycle of day and night let's start by this sunrise okay we can select this keyframe let's just select it and press ctrl and c to copy and here go here and press ctrl and v to paste it doesn't move yet we need to move we need to rotate it so here when we are here we can rotate this sun 360 degrees like this you can press control button and rotate it like this okay if you play the animation it will it will look like this and let's change the this left and right let's change this left and right tangents to linear so the movement the rotation should be natural now this sun rotation is looping let's extend the duration of this animation stop the animation we can unclick this red button because we are not recording any animation and let's say we want the animation to be five seconds go to the fifth second here and drag it like this now the animation should be played in five seconds in full time full cycle now we have the sun rotating and we need to turn on and off this light here to do that we need to create a script let's create a script here we name it sun i name it sun you can name it whatever you want double click the script to open it let's here is the script let's create two methods first method is to turn on the light so i'm going to public wait turn on lamp and the second is wait turn off lamp now inside these two blocks we are going to write our code to turn on lamp for example let's name this light and let me name it house light whatever i name it house light so when 
Uh, let's go to let's click the sun here so we can see the timeline of the sun here we are going to turn off the light so here i'm going to click this small button to add event and let's click this little blue uh, thing here blue mark and here we can choose the method that we are going to call but first we need to attach the sun script to the sun itself we have it attached here now we can go back here and click this mark now we can oh. let's try again oh we didn't save the script let's on let's press ctrl and s to save the script and go back to the unity let's try again click this mark and we choose turn off lamp here when the sun goes down here on a sunset we see this part let's switch on the lamp here so click this mark button and click this one and choose turn on lamp okay because the we didn't we didn't write any script here we cannot see the light turning on and off so let's write the script so here on turn on lamp what we are going to do is to find this house light so I'm going to copy the name of this light so I'm going to write uh, game object dot find the name of the object and then get component light and we set the intensity to 2 let's go back to unity initially we need to set the house light we need to set it its intensity to 0 so initially it is off then by script we turn it on and here when we are going to turn off the lamp we copy this line of code and paste it here and we can simply just put zero here to turn off that lamp let's run the scene now when it is dark you can see the light is turned on and when the sun rises it is off okay what if we have multiple light for example let me create another light here here and here and here we need to turn on and off those lights when the sun is rising or setting so the way to do that is to select this light and let's add a tag here let's create a new tag i name a new tag a new tag my light select them again and add this type add this type to the lights and here let's modify the script now here we are going to do some loop 
Do we need to loop uh, doing a loop to fetch all the lights we have and now uh, let me write the code okay okay object here we are defining an, a multiple game objects my lights i name it my light equal to game object define game object with tag and here we are going to insert the tag of the slides which is my life and this is the loop we do we do for each loop then object go in goes in my lights here we set the intensity of each of the slide go dot get component light and intensity to be 2 and we can simply copy and paste this code here here we need to turn the, those lights off so we set it to zero we save the script and let's set the intensity of these three lights to zero initially and let's run the scene let's run the game the sun is setting those lights are turning on and off and on again okay that is the tutorial for today i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching see you next time